Hey everyone, uh, today in this video I'll walk you through the functionality of uh, the all segments feature in the uh, in the segmentation product. So firstly let's understand uh, what exactly is all segments page uh, in Moengage. Uh, so, so this page provides a unified view of uh, the, the custom segments which are created and are being used in your Moengage dashboard. So uh, this enables a lot of growth teams and marketing teams to uh, uh, quickly get an overview of their custom segments uh, and that too at, a, at, at one place. Uh, so you can also take uh, uh, some set of actions that are available on these on this, uh, segments uh, like view, edit, duplicate, etc. And uh, uh, so essentially the most important thing is that uh, you can also uh, go into the uh, minute details of uh, the, the custom segment by uh, clicking this button. So you'll see the uh, the number of users and the definition of the segment once you click this so uh, so how do we navigate to this page uh, so in the left panel there is all segments button by clicking this will be uh, navigated or landing up to this landed up to this page uh, there is a plus segment button uh, by clicking this button uh, there are you, ca you can see the type of segment that you can create one is the filter segment second is the rfm segment and third is the file segment so uh, so you can create a segment of users uh, by the user user properties, uh, the user behavior, and also uh, different user affinities. Uh, using this, you can create a filter segment. Uh, then you can create uh, an, an RFM segment on the basis of uh, the recency of an event or a frequency of an event, and also an, uh, the mo monetary value attached to any event. Uh, you can create a file segment by importing a, a list of uh, users in a CSV, and you can uh, you know upload that uh, in moengage and you can create a file segment out of it but you, you need to remember that uh, those users should be present in moengage if 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 the file cons uh, consists of users which are not present in moengage we will skip it will skip the users and it will only upload or create a file segment of the users which are only present in moengage uh, so coming back to the all segments page uh, so uh, let me explain you the different actions that you can take on uh, the custom segment. So you can view the details of the uh, of the segment that you have created. You can edit the definition. You can duplicate uh, this uh, custom segment. You can archive in case you are not using it for a longer time. You can archive it, and uh, you can also export the users in case you want to do any analysis on uh, the segment uh, in a third party platform or in uh, anywhere else. You can create a campaign in Moengage. Uh, then you can also create uh, analyze this segment, and uh, you can sync segment to any third-party platform. So these third-party platforms could be any loyalty platform, uh, any CRM, or uh, or any uh, other analytics tool. In in case you want to analyze this uh, in the users in this segment more. So these are the ac actions that you can take. So uh, so let's let's uh, deep dive into any of the uh, custom segment and uh, let me uh, show you the details that you can see. So uh, here you can see the segment type, uh, which is the filter segment. It is the type is filter. Uh, then you can see uh, when this uh, fil uh, this segment was created on, and the last runtime. So basically, the last runtime is a time when uh, this uh, segment was uh, queried or it was used in. Uh, in any uh, in any campaigns, uh, so that that provides the this latest date, uh, and the uh, the source was basically this segment was created from the segmentation page. You can see the definition also, uh, uh, like uh, with which attributes this uh, segment was created. So in this uh, segment, you can see there are fourteen users, out of which fourteen users are reachable. Uh, in the reachability section, uh, you get a complete mix of. Uh, the reachability of users by channels so you can see that there there is uh, four type of channels one is push email sms and whatsapp and as per the reachability calculation uh, the the number will vary and uh, you can see that the, the, there are no users reachable via push and whatsapp and there are 14 users uh, reachable via sms and email so uh, below you can see the sample users on clicking uh, show more you get to see the all the details of these uh, these users and uh, as per their attributes in the below section you get to see uh, the segment edit history uh, at, at any point of time if uh, there was any edit made uh, to this segment uh, all these uh, the edits are captured here 
and in case you want to see uh, you, if you want to use any of this version uh, in the, uh, the in the previous versions as a current version you can just click here and you can use that version as a current version so it will be used everywhere uh, as as the as your current version then uh, so there is an archived segments toggle uh, which will take you to uh, all the uh, which will take you to a page where you can see all the archived uh, segments or the segments which are not being used for a longer time you can also archive the segment in case you want to use it uh, again uh, if you in case you want to use it actively you can just click archive and this will again land up to the previous page of uh, the custom uh, of the segments all segments page right uh, so the last part is the synced segments like i mentioned earlier that uh, these segments are these segments can be synced up uh, uh, sync up to uh, any other third party platform like crm or any analytics tool right uh, so you can see the details uh, their status their uh, if the status is active inactive there are different kind of status like active pause inactive failed right and the schedule could be uh, periodic or one time and uh, the destination is basically uh, is, is the destination where the uh, the segment is going to be synced so this is uh, speci this is specifically configured while you are creating uh, a sync segment so you provide a destination that time uh, so in a schedule you, you while you are creating a, a outbound uh, sync segment uh, that time you s you have to mention whether this uh, segment i mean the sync needs to be one time or it needs to be periodically synced uh, then you can also see the last time this uh, segment was synced and you can uh, take the similar actions which i mentioned earlier on these uh, on these uh, sync segments so that is all about the all segments uh, f uh, feature uh, we will will see about the other features uh, in the in the upcoming videos thank you